or what inspired you to become a disciple of Christ? Well, my parents were very influential uh, in me growing in the faith and learning how to pray. And then the priests that were in the parish and the sisters were also really helpful uh, with it. So the family was uh, very faith-filled and went to church regularly. Uh, and I served Mass and slowly but surely just had a sense to following Jesus just like I saw the priest was doing. So, good question. Thank you. What is your favorite liturgical season and why? So, of course, I, I, I like Christmas, uh, partly because, of course, that's the beginning, the birth of Jesus, very special time. Uh, but Easter is the, and Holy Week are the really most special time celebrating Jesus giving his life for us uh, and giving us the Last Supper, his body and blood, and then Jesus especially rising from the dead on Holy Saturday night, Easter Sunday morning. It's really special for us to celebrate the resurrection because that's our hope for everybody, to share the resurrection of Jesus forever. So we're good. Thank you. Um, why is faith formation so important while we are young? So why is what? Faith formation. Faith formation, okay. Faith formation is important when you're young because that's kind of like what we were talking about today. It's setting a foundation so that you can, can grow into a real building of faith, a real temple of faith, a temple of God's love. Uh, and so your faith formation is going to be really, really important. So how you pray how you read the Word of God, how you celebrate the Mass and the sacraments, and then also how you share God's love and Jesus' love are all really very special. So keep it up, okay? Yes, ma'am. And she's moving to you here in a second, so give it a second. And there we are. If you could make one thing in the world better, what would it be? I would love to see everyone in love with Jesus Christ and filled with his peace. Love to see that. And that's what I pray for every Mass. And hopefully that's what's going to happen to the world. So, super good question. Um, where's your favorite place to pray? And do you like it to be quiet or maybe soft music? So my... my uh, Favorite place to pray right now, I have a prayer chair in my house. And I also have a little chapel in my house. And so that's a very special place that I pray. Uh, and uh, I forgot the second question. What was the second question? Do you like to pray with me? Oh, with music or without music? So it just depends. Most of the time I like to pray quietly without anything else in the background. But there's occasions when, you know, I do have music playing and those are special moments too. So, great question. Thank you. Yes, sir. We're going to wait till she can swing over to you. Now, we got you. So, what is your favorite parable? Uh, the parable of the prodigal son, I would say, is my favorite of favorites because the father loved the son even from a distance, no matter what. And that's, that's the way God loves us. God loves us even from a distance, no matter what we've done. And God is willing to accept us and bring us back into his house. So it's very special. That's the sacrament of reconciliation confession. So it's really a gift to us as a church. So, thank you. Where have you all lived? So where have I lived? Uh, quite a number of places. I lived all over the South, and I was born in Lafayette, Louisiana. Uh, I used to come to summer camp here in Mississippi. Uh, and then uh, we lived a little bit in Florida, a little bit in kind of West Texas, and then I eventually entered the seminary in Corpus Christi, Texas, and that's where I became a priest. Uh, and did some school wing in Houston, and uh, so lived in a lot of different places. Of course, now I live in Biloxi, 
and I'm your shepherd, your bishop. So yeah, wonderful. Thank you. Yes, sir. Um, would you share one or more of your most memorable holy moments? So one of them was, was this morning with y'all, in the, the the real depth of singing and the desire to pray that y'all brought to the altar, and to Jesus was really very uh, moving. Of course, my ordination to the diaconate was important, and my ordination to the priesthood, and then being able to be ordained a bishop was also a very special moment. So those are just a few. There's been a, a whole bunch, but that's a few. So thank you. Other than staying extremely busy being our bishop, what other hobbies do you have? So uh, I like to read, and I like to fish, uh, and um, and then of course I like to come visit our schools because I get to meet you, which is fun. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Um, do you like to write prayers? So I do write prayers. Uh, so I wrote a prayer about uh, vocations. And I give that holy card to our altar servers, so they have a copy of it now. And of course, I really like to pray because it's my way of being in touch with God's love and letting God's love just flow over me too. And that's my prayer for you too, that you will experience that in your life. Anything else? No, got it? Any more questions, team? We got it? Yay, team. Very good. So it's good to be with you, and uh, what did you like the best today so far? What was the thing that stood out for you today? What Mass. stood out for you? Mass? Mass. All right. And was there a part of the Mass that you liked the most? How about the singing? Did y'all like the singing? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I liked the singing, me too. And then when we got together and had uh, our time in the class, what did y'all like the most? Uh, the song. The song. The song. Yay. And when people shared um, yeah. the holy moments. Yeah, when people shared their holy moments. Those are special. Yeah. And can you think of some holy moments you've had today? What are some holy moments you've had today? Um. In mass, I um, I was praying at one time. I was praying for my cousin, um, cause he passed away about three or four months ago. Okay. And um, I and I just felt really good. Good. What's his name? I'll keep him in prayer too. Trey. Trey. I'll keep him in prayer too. Any other holy moments that you got, when girls? When we went up to get um communion. So you went up to communion. That was a holy moment. Yep. Any more holy moments? Well, when we were like in that um, stream room, it's like it felt fun. Okay, good. To, it was fun to be in there in the room together. I like the song you, um, you taught us. There. So you like the song? Okay. I like when you um, helped us pray. Yeah, and the prayer too. That's wonderful. Well, you did good. Excellent. Love it. So let me give you a blessing then. So the Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yay, team. Y'all did great. Well done. We're going to take a photo together, I think.